Hello, this is Level With Me. This is my show where I play through games and talk about the level design and what I think is going on in them. And uh, it's been a little while. Sorry it's late today. Uh, still kind of jet lagged. Um, flew back from Ireland last yesterday, actually. Uh, but now I'm here. And we can play a little bit of Thief now. We are about 60, 70% of the way through Thief. And we are starting this mission called The Lost City. So let me start that up. And The Lost City, I think, is regarded as probably one of the better missions of Thief. Uh, cause it's very, it's very large, very like epic feeling, uh, it pulls some surprises on you, but not, but not in the way that the previous Thief missions have been pulling surprises on us, where it's like, uh, ooh, go to this thing, and then you go to it, and then Thief goes, oh, sorry, you have to go somewhere else, and then that's kind of been the structure of some missions. But for this mission, the surprise will kind of be more about how sprawling it is. In a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. I've also got a map. It's so old, the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how So this is probably one of my then. favorite parts of this mission, the, the map you get. Uh, as we've talked about in previous weeks playing Thief, uh, the in-game map in Thief is often not super helpful or not super accurate. But uh, for this mission, the map is just all those like symbols and stuff. It's, it's wild. I love it. So uh, our objectives for this mission are we have to go into the Lost City and get to the entrance. That's it's pretty easy. We'll do that in like one minute. Um, then we're going to have to get a bunch of treasure. Um, that might be a little bit difficult. I might end up wandering around a little bit, kind of like some of the other previous weeks. So uh, hopefully I'm not too much of a mess. We'll see. Uh, we also need to find uh, some medallions from some dead keepers, some dead bodies somewhere in the city. We're going to have to go find them. And then we have to find the Talisman of Fire. You'll, you'll recall about two or three weeks ago, uh, we got this mission where there was, we went to the cathedral and we had to get four elemental keys to get into the cathedral. We got the Earth Key in the Mage Tower mission. Uh, last week or last month uh, now we're getting the fire talisman uh, and then um, then we have to leave and then that's all the objectives uh, this is probably one of the missions that's also undergone most of the chain a lot of changes since thief the original thief dark project release uh, in this version uh, in the old version you also had to get another talisman so you're getting the fire and the water talisman but uh in the thief gold they revamped it and gave the water talisman like its own kind of mission that will i think play right after this mission so uh in this one they it's a little bit adjusted but it still kind of plays the same if i remember correctly i don't know i haven't played this in a long time uh, what I do remember is that uh, in this mission we're going to be facing a lot of these fire enemies and uh, if video games have taught you anything it's that fire stuff is weak against water so I'm going to buy a bunch of water stuff. If you didn't know that though, I think this mission would have been, might have been pretty hard. You'd have to dodge a lot of the fire enemies instead. Hopefully they're not the creepy, fast-moving fire dudes that we've been seeing in the previous missions. The ones that, like, scare me and make me scream. Uh, I think these are just going to be nice, nice, cute little floating blobs of fire. Um, because they're blobs of fire, gas arrows won't be as useful. Uh, because a lot of the monsters will be fighting 
won't be like breathing, so gas arrows will be useless on some of them. Uh, we already have some rope arrows. Maybe get one more. I'm pretty sloppy with rope arrows. I might as well buy some more. And then uh, I'm pretty sloppy with breath management, so I'll buy one breath potion just to be safe. Uh, and then I think I'm good on everything else. Good, and then I only have one unused coin cash left. It's weird that they call it cash when it's gold, but anyway, uh, let's play. So this beginning of the Lost City mission, I kind of love it because it's again doing this thing that I really love Thief for, which is it sets up this like introduction where you're in this outside area and then you have to break into the thing, into the place where you want to rob everywhere and then you have to break back out. So uh, I love how it like kind of sets the tone. We're in this safe, dark, uh, well, not dark. We're in this like safe city area. Uh, oh, that's that's a very modern looking manhole cover. That's kind of strange. I would have I would have done a little bit better with that maybe. Uh, okay, so let's walk through here, I think. And then we go in there. No, what? That's kind of weird. Why is this just lit up? Maybe there used to be a fire in here? It was like a fireplace? That's kind of weird. What else is going on here? But typical kind of uh, thief city kind of stuff going on here. Uh, where you have a nice mix of all these different materials overlapping each other to give you this effect of all these different like parts. Uh, so that it feels like a city. What is a little bit... Oh. What's up this tower? It's weird that there's this tower here. What am I supposed to do with it? Oh, and then there's like woods on the ceiling up here, but we can't do anything about it. Yeah, that's so interesting. I can't... I can't decide whether that's like good design or bad design, right? The idea that you'd have this totally like superfluous like stairwell thing. Maybe there used to be like a ladder that like extended up here or maybe we could have opened these doors before and then they, they deleted it. So now all that's left is this weird chamber. Uh, but archaeology in Thief levels is very interesting. What else is going on? Normally I'd be like scared about guards, uh, but I know for a fact that there's no guards in this first section of the whole, of a pretty big outside city area. But I imagine if you were playing this mission for the first time, you wouldn't necessarily know that, so you'd kind of be on edge. You'd be kind of sneaking around carefully, trying to listen for stuff, only to realize slowly that there aren't any guards out here and you've just been sneaking around for no reason and Thief is laughing at you for it. Uh, what's going on? Oh, and then there's a oh, there's a ladder down to the water. If I remember correctly, there's a secret over here, though. <laughs> ah, I keep falling down, though. There's definitely something on the other side. I'm gonna try a little bit longer. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be jumping as soon as I... Uh, I think I might need a rope arrow to climb there. Let's get one of our rope arrows out. And then there's wood shutters there. So I can shoot a rope arrow there. Oh, but I think I shot it wrong. Shit! Okay. Does it stick in the wall? Oh my god, I can't reach it. Ugh. It won't let me grab that. Okay, I'm gonna use my last rope arrow trying to get this secret. Uh, 
It won't let me grab the rope. Uh. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Okay, let's see if I can jump over and across and not die. Oh my god. Oh, phew. Oh, good thing there's these boxes here. That's handy. Wait, how do I get back out, though? Oh, I can just jump off these boxes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there should be some treasure around here. Bunch of arrows. And then treasure. God, so weird. They Look, they align all these cups. And then just two... Like, why would you do that? Why would you place four... I don't know. It's so strange. But here's where we can practice the sacred art of box stacking and thief. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm not doing very good at the sacred art of box stacking, though. I might have to just shoot another rope arrow just to get out of here. Oh my god. This secret was not worth it, I think. Uh, might be able to get out here? I don't think it'll let me grab it here, though. Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry I tried to get this secret. It was not worth it. Okay, there we go. I'll jump onto this rope arrow. Oh my god. Okay, and then I'll grab this one and I'm not using it. And then I'll jump across to safety. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um... Maybe it would be easier if I just restarted. Because <laughs> um, this is kind of painful. I mean, I know it's painful for you watching at home, but it's also painful for me trying to make this and it won't let me because the level designer just put this weird like this is a really awkward thing for me to try to jump because there's no like wood posts sticking out it's really annoying uh maybe i can shoot a rope arrow on this side and then jump And then if this fails, I think I'm just going to like give up and restart. Okay, there we go. Oh god, what a what a mess. I think I I'm down rope arrows now because of that. I, good job, Robert. Good job. Okay. Uh okay, let's go on and get on with this damn mission then. So, there's the secret passage uh that we talked about in the mission briefing. And now we have to go put slot this key into this thingy. And there's the secret passage. Now we have to swim our way over. Swimming in Thief is just so nice. Like, I think this is just one of the few kinds of games. Well, I mean, like, Skyrim and Morrowind, I guess, have, like, dungeons with a lot of swimming. But I think Thief is the first-person game that kind of most, like, respects swimming, if that makes sense. I think I'm gonna run out of air soon. Might need my breath potion. Oh, wait, no, there's some. Oh, that that's kind of clever. So, um, I was stuck in that giant chamber, and I didn't know where the next air pocket was going to be. 
but it was kind of this like blind like you turn pipe oh my god <laughs> it was kind of this, oh i should have mantled onto that ledge uh so that was like interesting that was kind of the level designer i, I feel like playing with um the information of where the next air pocket would be to kind of make me panic even though in, it was actually pretty safe for me and I wasn't going to run out of breath at all. Uh, but it made me nervous, so that's smart. Let's see, what else? Oh, where's the light coming from? Uh, Kimidactyl asks in the chat. Um, yeah, good question. I don't see where the light is coming from. I guess it's just random point lights floating in the middle of the room like a lot of video games do right the light is also kind of an odd quality right usually in a video game environment especially with like water at the bottom you would have made the light look more like it's like blue or something bluish green or something and then orient it near the water to make it seem like for some reason the water is glowing or something and then the water would act as this like false kind of light source uh at least that's what a lot of games do right uh and then if you're uh playing doing a more recent generation of the video game engine you'd also have all these like projections of like uh water acoustics and stuff and look really pretty and you animate everything but here it does seem a little bit, yeah, a little bit kind of thoughtless a little bit, the way they've lit this room. Okay, I have to keep mantling around here. Uh-oh. I think there's a lot of spiders here. A lot of baby spiders. Ah! Oh, and they all hear me. There we go. Uh-oh. Baby spiders are dangerous. Oh my god, so many spiders. Jesus. Is there anything over here? Oh, that's just like lava? Okay, I think I'm gonna go over here instead while being chased by these spiders. Oh my god! <laughs> Their little footstep sounds are actually really cute. Oh my god, they're really aggressive. Oh my god. So this is the boss. Oh my god, I can't jump down though. Oh my god. It's not lost no more. Oh my god. Maybe I should have just killed them in the beginning. Wait, did that spider just parry my sword? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, well, I just lost half my health. That's okay. But now we can finally appreciate this environment. Well, first of all, I just want to give props to this rock texture. This is a really nice rock texture, I feel like. it. Could, it's like in a very ideal rock texture where... Um, you know, there's all these, there's a nice variety of cracks and like medium scale kind of shapes to it. And there's also a little bit of color to it too. So there's a nice like balance of all these forms that really do help the cave geometry look more detailed than it really is. So yes, yes, that, that texture rocks indeed. But back to this problem, we can't just jump down because I think we'll die. And there's nowhere for us to shoot rope arrows, I don't think. Uh, I mean, I can try. I don't remember if this is the correct way or not, but I'll just get a running start and try to make this jump. Oh, the spiders are blocking me though. Quick save, and then let's see if we can make the jump. No, we cannot make the jump. Ah! 
Okay, well... Yes, I believe that is the fire talisman, and that is the game teasing me with not being able to make this jump. Well, we just have to make our way back to this giant room with a tower and some lava. No biggie, we can do it. So I guess we'll go the other way. And we're gonna have to circle back all the way around, it, kind of in the tradition of like Half-Life or something, where we encounter an obstacle and we have to circle all the way around until we come back to that thing we wanted. And now that there's no spiders here, how nice. Oh, I think that's a fire trap. Gotta watch out for that one. I think that's just lava. Keep going this way. Notice as we like run through all these tunnels, there's a really nice tr trend of always going downwards. So um, that like subconscious um, dead reckoning part of your brain is constantly thinking about, oh, we keep going down, down, down. We must be very deep underground by now. So I like that consistency where we're How always trying to keepers keep this place a secret. What? Garrett is such a weird dad. That's such a bad. That was such a bad dad joke. But anyway, so now if we ever need to make our way back up, we can kind of follow passages leading back up and we'll be assured that we're going back to the surface. So um, it's good that they keep, yeah, like all these directions and trajectories the same. I think I hear something. I don't see anything. Though. Well, let's go down this hole. It's like we're supposed to. Oh, and now the game introduces this. So, uh, it's the beginning of the mission. They're introducing their unique set pieces for this mission. And one of them is these motion controlled magic lights. So when you walk into a room, it turns on. Uh-oh. Now, for a game about hiding in the shadows, magical motion sensing lights are very bad and scary. <laughs> so that's like a really great way that the game is just totally like fucking with you right now. The level designer is just doing the most annoying thing possible. Is this Burricks? Oh, I think it's a Burrick. Yeah. At least you can KO them. You can boop them on the head. Uh oh, is there another one coming? I think there's no motion control lights here where the Burricks are patrolling. I can hear the panting. Ugh. Uh, do the lights turn off if you stand still? No, they do not. Uh, I believe it's probably like a trigger volume inside the room. When you step inside, it turns on. When you exit, it turns off. So what's cool about the, the, this mechanic with the motion sensing lights is that it's kind of training us to do something you don't usually do that much in Thief, which is look at the ceiling. So now I'm always going to be staring at the ceiling when I'm, whenever I'm inside these stone buildings. I'm going to be staring at the ceiling looking for these damn little motion sensor lights. Ugh. Worst. Ooh, is this treasure? 
I believe it is. Here's the stairs. Now I've, I've been hearing that Burrick patrol around. I know they're somewhere. I think they kind of sound close by. I just don't want to get caught outside by them. Oh no, that's just lava. I cannot. I can't go that way. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we'll go this way even though this light is making things really hard for me. Notice how empty and barren these rooms are, uh, but because there's like so many, like the floor plan is just so interesting. Oh, and it looks like according to the map, we're in this room with like a scroll. Uh, then we need to make our way to this like middle thing with like a grain with like a wheat sim symbol. So maybe that's like a food farm market place. Uh, and then here's a big flame with a tower. So to me that signifies where we need to go to get that fire talisman maybe. Uh, something with an arrow and a hand. So that maybe that's like where the guards are or something then it looks like there's, there's some scales here maybe that's like a palace or some kind of like seat of government uh, and then we're back here with water and a bridge maybe that's when there was still a water talisman uh, in this mission um, so useful map but not directly useful right it's very indirectly useful which I think is is beautiful even though I'm upset oh what's cool about the light the lights turn on even if it's not me even if it's a Burrick walking around that triggers the lights that's kind of cool so it's almost like it's kind of warning you a little bit that's nice I'm gonna try to KO this lizard Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now I can just stand in the threshold between the rooms and the lights won't turn on. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna try to KO him. Oh, that did not work. Oh my god. That did not work. Okay, okay, no, that's lava. That's not gonna... I'm just gonna run over here. Okay, well, that's okay. You know, we don't always... Oh, and then there's the sign. Oh, and then there's the hieroglyph that corresponded with where we were. So that's kind of cool. What's cool about this approach is that you also don't need to localize your text now, too. You can just leave it like this. You can always... If you rely on symbols, you don't have to localize symbols. That's kind of cool. Oh god, wait, there was a Burke there? Oh crap. Getting sloppy. You're not getting away from me. There we go. Sorry, I never want to kill those cute little lizards, but... Uh, okay, so now we're in the main, I think, part of the city. Very much inspired by indigenous kind of like Pueblo architectures, I feel like. Uh, or like Central American kind of architecture. Uh, ooh, 
treasure. What's that? Oh, that's just a skull. Uh, I can jump around on these. <clears throat> and then that quickly becomes like a dominant strategy. Oh, there's something up there where you're always kind of jumping and climbing on stuff. Which is fun. I'm into it. I think climbing is also when Thief is at its best. Uh, let's run around. Uh, let's see. People in the chat are talking about... Uh, oh, motion sense. The motion sense lights might make the light gem difficult to implement. Right, so... Um, We've talked about how uh, the way the light gem at the bottom of the screen works, or is, or is thought to work at least, is based on the texture that you're reading below at the bottom of your feet. But that's not exactly correct, right? Notice I'm standing here in this relatively dark area, but I'm still super bright. So I guess it's kind of this combination of ray casts towards uh, light sources. Uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at the thief code, but I'd imagine it's a combination of raycast towards light sources, uh, as well as maybe sampling the shadows at your feet. I don't know. Ooh, is there anything in here? some golden bones that's all there is Ooh, okay so I really like oh, what was that sound so I really like this I really like how uh, the dirt is filling up the bottom level of this uh, this dwelling uh, that's super interesting like like that's what happens in ruins I guess right and I think it's tempting not to have the opening there but to have inaccessible openings is really important to selling the idea of a ruin, I think. Like, not every window or door is made to be walked through. It's okay if there are some doors that you can't walk through. Where is this light coming from? There's just this random light floating here. It feels really, really unusual and awkward to have it there. It also doesn't seem to serve any gameplay purpose. Like, there's no enemies patrolling around here, so... Yeah, I just don't know why there's this light here. Unusual. Well, who can I mantle up into here? No, I don't think I can. I don't see any wood for me to shoot a rope arrow into. Oh, man, I could jump here. And then... Mantle up here? And then mantle here. And then there's a hole in the ceiling. Nice. And I'm rewarded with oh fire arrows. That's not. I don't know if that's gonna be useful. For, why is there just lava sitting in this house? Wow. That's kind of weird. It's like a little lava. It's like your own private little lava tub. Why would you... It's weird. It's like lava is being contained like a vat in that house. And eh, it's kind of strange. And now here... Ooh, this looks like a dead end. No, it's not. I can mantle up here. To hear they do a trick that uh, Uncharted kind of does a lot which is where you use detail and to like break up a shape and when you use detail to break up a shape that that's a way of signaling where the player should go uh you know if you've played if you played a lot of doom or wolfenstein there's this like old adage where you should follow the enemies and as long as you keep following the enemies and there's a there's always monsters for you to fight that's the direction where you should be going uh and but in the modern um adventure action kind of explore them up 3d games it's more about following the detail than following the enemies i think because if they've detailed something that meant they deemed it was worthwhile to detail that area and if they're going to invest that much time detailing an area you damn well better enjoy their work 
Uh, ooh. Oh, but this was just fire arrows. I don't need any of that. Well, that's disappointing. After that big grand speech of... Wait. Oh, I think I can mantle up here. Oh, I guess that was the... This is the critical path. Yay. jump on uh, the chat people are saying oh fire arrows are useful against the burricks yeah that's true I guess so now where are we in this map it looks like we went from here and then we went down here this is the residences that we were in or something Oh, and then there's a giant obelisk, uh, which reminds us of the obelisk right here. Oh. There's a burrick. Oh, and a bunch of dead dinosaurs, too. Oh, no, what killed them? Oh, that's sad. Uh-oh, did he see me? I don't think he saw- Oh, no, he definitely saw me. Uh, okay, well, maybe we should use those fire arrows we found. Yeah, that's a good point. You almost, you'd almost think that this city was built by the dinosaurs, seeing that there's so many here, but... Oh, where did he go? Oh, well. But I gather it was a human city based on the size of the doors and everything. Also, Burroughs don't have thumbs. How could they build a city without thumbs, honestly? Okay, well, I don't know where that guy went. But I'll just keep going, I guess. Anything up here? Uh, no, this is just a totally sealed off area. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I was so smart for mantling up to this thing, but it's just empty. Well, life is full of disappointment. Notice all the really nice, like, height variation, too? And I love that there's a street, and I can... In theory, the way this gameplay might work is that I have to, like, snake between all these different buildings and avoid the main street. But I can always peer out into the main street to see if there are guards, but I don't hear anything. Or see anything. I wonder where that... I wonder where the dinosaur went. Oh well. Uh, oh, can I mantle up here, you think? No, I don't think I can mantle up here. Just keep sneaking through these empty rooms. No treasure. Pretty disappointing. Wish it would give me a little- Oh, there's some treasure right there. Ooh, I like that sight line. That's clever. Nice setup. Cause I now want to. I really want to go down there and get the get the treasure, but I don't want to lose the advantage I have from standing up here. Uh, I'm so noisy right now. Oh, I can hear the burrick. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to pass, and then I'll jump down and boop it on the head. There we go. Okay, where is that treasure? Nice. So 
So I guess some like disaster, like some terrible calamity, like befell this city. I mean, I guess all the lava is one hint. But wonder what else happened, you know? Uh, I thought this was like a secret door because the texture is different, but I guess that's just sloppy texturing. Anything in the corners? No. Well, at least it's been kind of consistent with where the loot placement goes. Uh, so far, all the loot we've found has been near bones of some kind. So if I see an empty room, I'm kind of trusting the level does the lost city level designer at this point uh, to say that <clears throat> you know if it's empty and there's not bones in there then there's not there's no loot like hiding in the corner or something because uh, they already went to this effort to always make sure loot was next to something else that there was like an accumulation of objects so hopefully they don't break their own rules and level design. Uh, if you want to know more about this kind of like theory that like when we play levels uh, as players we're also internalizing uh, the level designers <laughs> own rules for like secret placement or treasure or anything um, I'd say the big canon article for that is uh, Dave Serlin's piece on secrets in Donkey Kong Country uh, where he's a super obsessed about how the level designer places things in Donkey Kong Country uh, and talks about like the mentality and psychology going on and, and really authorship that goes on with item placement sometimes. Is that treasure? Oh, this is a false, false flag, false positive, no treasure there. So that's kind of, this is kind of an interesting choice, making me go into all these empty rooms. There's no guards to dodge. I just keep going into these, yes, very clean, empty rooms. Getting lost a little bit, cause, oh, wait. Oh, this is back where I came from, right. Being a little bit lost, not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. Guess I need to go west. Right, because here's this big obelisk right here. But I already went that way, right? Uh, am I doing this right? <gasps> Nothing here, right? I already went this way. Did I miss something? <sighs> I have to jump back this way? I don't see where I would have gone. Hmm. Maybe I have to find some way to run out there? But that's just, that's lava. I would just die if I went that way. Uh, hmm. Bring out my compass. So, I need to go west. Right, that's, it looks like that's where I need to go. I should just keep going that way. Maybe there's a door I missed. I 
Oh wait, but now I'm just ending up back here though. Huh, did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Uh Because this clearly implies... Oh wait, no, it looks like that's the Talisman Tower? Oh gosh. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't go back in here, right? That's just like an entry area. Oh. What's this? Okay, despite hardships, I've welcomed this opportunity to study the city. Okay, so I had a keyhole on the books. This is the Keeper's Book, uh, or diary. Because uh, everyone in video games keeps meticulous diaries and journals. Doesn't everyone? Uh, all was the Emperor, a divine figure, answerable to none. Okay, so th these are the archaeologists who came before us, the expedition, telling us more about the city, giving us some lore. The last emperor, Va Tarak, seemed to have been different. Is he a wizard, maybe? Ah, oh, maybe this is the way. Oh my god. Oh my god, they saw me. Oh my god, that's just lava. Uh... Hey, where's that fire arrow? Eat shit, dinosaur! Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have enough for all of them. Oh my god. They all want revenge. Oh my god, they're all coming out. Oh, collided with their gas arrow. Oh my god, okay. I can do this. This is okay. This is okay. How are there so many? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so, you know, not the best outcome for a stealth game where I had to kill four dinosaurs, but uh, they left me with no other option. I'm not gonna stealth my way through all these motion control lights. I'm sorry. Oh, here's a nice treasure. Ooh, a lot of treasure. Oh, sarcophagus. Can't open it, though. And then that's a papyrus? What does the papyrus say? Ordered the synchro... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's an archive in the Great Temple Palace. Good thing I can read this ancient language, whatever it is. Oh, can I make this jump? I don't know if I can make this jump. I think I'll probably die. Right? Ah! Yeah, yeah, I, I died. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look for another way around then. Well, at least I took this lovely little detour and got more treasure. Keep walking around. Maybe we'll see something good. 
Uh, this is kind of interesting. Why did they put this drop in here? So, I guess that's that drop is there so that you can run away from the Burricks. Because there are a lot. Like, four for this relatively small area is, is like an awful lot of guards for this area. Uh, so, maybe that's like... The level designer trying to help you out a little bit so that if you did run instead of shooting all your fire arrows at them you could have just ran back here and then they couldn't they can't pursue uh, pursue you up here um, but still a little bit of an odd choice I don't know oh crap uh oh I think he sees me. Yeah, I'm just gonna sword him. That might be easier. There we go. Ooh, I really actually okay now that I've killed all the dinosaurs and I can actually appreciate the architecture here It's very quake very quake one, right? Like look at that I especially like these archways here where they're kind of jutting out a little bit Because that doesn't yeah to me that doesn't feel like any like worldly architecture a little bit like that's really strange i don't know if any culture would build the arches like this uh i also like the grates up there those ceiling grates that's kind of a nice touch too uh overall like nice shadow effect with all this stuff going on Uh, where am I going? Oh, that's just lava. I think I already came this way, right? God. Every... Okay, so this is my criticism of Lost City, where every room just definitely looks way too similar. Like, they should have broken it up a little bit more, or at least introduced more different types of rock, or at least, like, have more pillars and details, but... When I step into this room, like, I honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell me where I am. I have no idea. Okay, well, let's step back out here. Maybe there's something else we missed? God, I have no idea where to go, though. I felt like I was going the right way. It felt like the right way. It's just... I wonder what I missed, you know? To me, I think this is... This is when Thief is at its worst, I think, when you're not really sure where to go or what to do. And all because you maybe just missed one random door somewhere, now you're just gonna be punished to wander around forever I think but I think in at the time they were making it they were more concerned with ideas that the player would inevitably just get am I supposed to duck into here ah but won't let me uh, I think they were concerned more with like the AI that like the player would wouldn't understand how to sneak properly, that the player would always end up uh, going, like getting caught by one AI and then running into the patrol path of another AI. Uh, so you're in one frying pan and then you get thrown into the fire of another uh, and so on. So I feel that was their big concern, but. Yeah, dealing with the AI and Thief isn't like that hard i think i think the spatial act of navigation and wayfinding is a much more complicated thing to ask of players 
And that's why every game ultimately almost always like chickens out and just gives you a big auto map to show you exactly where you are and where you need to go. Maybe I need to jump up here. But I guess you can't blame them for chickening out considering that I'm complaining them about this. Wait, is this the way? Have I just been running past this passage the whole time? Pointlessly? Yeah, I think this is the right way. How did I miss that door? Huh. Oh well. Oh god. So now this is the game giving us this like vista view a little bit where you can't you can't possibly miss it, right? This was a choke point. This was the only way I could have come. And I walk here and then through this perfectly placed hole, I see these fire elementals that are too far to kill me, but Still, very much right there. Gotta be careful. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Where am I? So, okay, so I'm somewhere around here. Let's, uh... Keep going. Oh, and I have some higher grounds. So that's good. I can observe them pretty safely. I think what makes the fire elemental like a really interesting enemy design is that it doesn't have a face or like a real body in the sense of a word. It's hard to tell where it's looking, right? So that means the fire elemental can't actually stay still. Uh, the fire elemental always needs to be moving because the only way you know where it's facing is that is the way its trail is going, right? So I think that's interesting enemy design only because it's so different from the enemies we've been facing in Thief where they're almost always humanoid or an, some kind of mammal or something with a clear head and body and like limb articulation. Here is just this weird ball of fire that has eyes for some reason or something. Anyway, let's uh, run around here. Ooh, here's a little book. We must find a supply of water in the city. The heat is dehydrating us. So they looked for water. Because remember, that's one of my mission objectives, right? I have to find this lost expedition. So these readables are giving me clues that they were looking for water. Uh, but I guess they never found it, right? I literally dived down this giant. Ooh, I really like this. Look at this. So this is like the angles on this are just so odd and strange and they're all like intersecting awkwardly. But you would never find like a modern video game building their caves like this. But to me, this also feels more natural in a sense because it I like I can't see the little prefab module cookie cutter pieces they use to build this right it looks like it's all hand sculpted 3d volumes and they're all intersecting at these weird angles and that's what nature feels like to me or that's what caves feel like to me right a cave doesn't care whether you can carefully fit through this opening or not right a cave will just do whatever the cave likes to a certain to a certain degree so that's what I like, like the, just these weird shapes and slopes and surfaces feel really, really good to me. Like A plus caves right here. Mm, but which way should I go? I'm getting so confused now. Maybe I'll go this way. And then I'll wait for these fire boys to uh, float past me. Is there anything down here? And it looks like that's the fire tower I need to get to, right? Yeah, it looks like I'm right here in this giant tower. And the talisman is somewhere here or here maybe? But there's... Looks like there's no way for me to get across this gap. But this is just here so that I can orient myself and know I can go around to 
get there. So, I know I need to go back in that direction. So maybe this path will get me there. Oh man, oh god, I love, this is really nice brushwork. And it's really hard to do this kind of cave uh, in like a quake engine or something. Just because that's not the way the brushes work. But here, Thief, they just threw all this odd geometry and strange vertices everywhere. It's gorgeous. Uh, I don't think I can go through there. I feel like I'm supposed to keep going around. Where's this leading? Okay, more fire arrows. That's always handy. Anything in here? I don't think so. Weird that there's wood here. It's making me think that I'm supposed to climb to the top of this thing. But there's nothing there. Okay, so I'll go this way now. Because I know that that tower I saw is still over there somewhere. So I just need to keep following this path. Now oh, what's this? Looks like there's something here. Ooh, water arrows, nice. Other thing I like about this mission, now look at, think about this room for a little bit. There's no enemies here. It, like in a strict sense, in a strict like formal gameplay sense, there's like zero gameplay in this room. So why would you put this room here? Um, I think it serves a really important pacing purpose. It's also an important landmark because this is a relatively unique kind of arrangement compared to all the other cave lava filled cave rooms we've been seeing. So this is kind of a landmark that will help us orient ourselves. Uh, and it's also uh, pacing it so that we have to go the long way around all the way to get to the fire stuff. Or at least I think that's what it's doing. I don't know. Let's see, ooh, there's some water arrows. Let's sneak around here. Hug the wall. Ledges in games are always kind of strange, right? Because uh, the player is actually much like wider than you might think. So, like, are you uh, like a refrigerator box over? Oh God, that was not smart. I was just I was trying to show you how you can actually walk over the ledge a lot more than you might think, but ended up falling into the lava and disproving my whole point. Never mind, never mind. Oh man, I love these rocks. So well done, right? And then with this texture, gorgeous texture. Really well painted. It's hexagon things, not super, not super feeling the hexagons. Kinda wish they, uh, did more with that. Feels a little bit strangely artificial, but... Oh god. Okay, that was a bad jump. I'm just gonna jump directly over here. Fuck it. Uh, how are we doing on time? Let me see. Oh god, we're almost... Okay, let me see how much further there is. Ooh, and then... So I was walking into this building and this reminded me of the other buildings with the motion control lights, right? So I was walking in and expecting a motion control light to turn on, but it looks like there aren't any in this building. So then it feels like extra dark to me almost. Like I feel like something's wrong because it's so dark and there's none of those motion control lights.
Ooh, and then I can hear humans. Oh, that's interesting. Mm, okay, maybe that's a good place to stop right here for today. Uh, so, um, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna maybe take a break right now. Uh, and then maybe next week, uh, we'll come back and finish the rest of the mission where we find out what those weird human voices are, uh, which is actually a new addition for Thief Gold. Uh, the original didn't have any humans in it. And, uh, then we'll also, what else will we do? And then we'll also get that fire talisman because we're pretty close we're right here. I think we just have to get up here and somewhere around here. Uh, and then we have to go find the dead people and then escape. So I guess maybe uh, we'll try to cover that next time, unfortunately, because I think we're out of time. Uh, but next week, uh, I'll be traveling again. Uh, next week, I'll actually be flying over to uh, Australia, Melbourne, actually, for a uh, whole festival, that conference, no, no, festival event thing that's going on. So, you know, if you're, uh, if you're, if you're based in Australia or you live in Melbourne, uh, feel free to come out. It'll be at Bar SK, uh, I think, August 8th maybe august 9th so unfortunately i'll be in on an airplane so i won't be able to stream unfortunately uh but uh maybe in about two weeks you'll finally get the exciting conclusion to this lost city mission so uh unfortunately you'll have to wait a little bit uh or you can always just fire up thief and find out what happens yourself you know and hopefully you won't be as hopelessly lost as i was Oof. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and see you in two, maybe three weeks. No, I think maybe two weeks. Well, if I have internet in Australia, maybe I'll try to broadcast from there. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you liked the glimpse of Lost City you got and uh, see you later. Bye.